survivorship bias. If you're not familiar with the term, I'm gonna read what it says on Wikipedia right now. Survivorship bias or survival bias is the logical error of concentrating on entities that passed a selection process while overlooking those that did not. This can lead to incorrect conclusions because of incomplete data. Survivorship bias is a form of selection bias that can lead to overly optimistic beliefs because multiple failures are overlooked. It can also lead to the false belief that the successes in a group have some special property rather than just coincidence as in correlation proves causality. So that gives you a general idea of what survivorship bias is. I have to say that I can see where I have that when it comes to learning how to code. Maybe the stars align for me. Maybe I was just in the right place at the right time. Maybe all the hard work I put in had nothing to do with me getting lucky and getting a job. But isn't luck just when preparation meets opportunity? Does all the work that I put in not count? I mean, I spent almost every single day for a year learning how to code on my free time. I did nothing but that. Was that just luck? I mean, there was a lot of things that happened that I could look at as luck, like meeting the recruiter that eventually got me my first job at a meetup. That was kind of lucky. But what about all the other meetups I went to when I didn't meet a recruiter? Because I was going to meetups multiple times a month for a long time. And there were only a couple times when I got lucky with a little bit of opportunity. Maybe I am biased. Maybe I, I say that anyone can do this because I don't have an education at all. I'm a ninth grade dropout. I am not someone that should have learned how to code. I am not someone that should have succeeded. I have zero qualifications to be a programmer. I had very little qualifications to become a designer at my last role. I mean, I technically had design experience, but I got like a senior UI UX designer role just off of my resume, which was mostly front end development and full stack development. Was that luck also? Because at that point I was already experienced. Would me telling someone who is trying to become a designer after having years of front end experience, would that be bad information to tell them that they could do that? Am I biased in that sense as well? I mean, I don't want to digress and go off topic because I'm talking about becoming a self-taught programmer and getting a job. I know I learned back in 2017, it was a different time back then. It was easier to get a job, I guess. But back then I remember going on the forums and I remember watching YouTube videos and I remember still hearing a lot of the same stuff that I'm hearing now, that it was really hard to get a job, that you needed to go to a boot camp, that you needed a college degree, that you couldn't make six figures if you were self-taught unless you got lucky. Well, I didn't make that right away, but I eventually made that as a self-taught developer. Am I really just biased or can anyone do this? I feel that anyone can do this because I was able to do it. But then again, that's exactly what survivorship bias is. So does everyone who's a self-taught programmer have a little bit of survivorship bias? I'm guessing so, but the same could be said for anyone who made it into FANG. The same could be said for anyone who made it into an Ivy League school. The same could be said for anyone who starts their own successful business, their own company or SaaS or whatever, blog that makes them money, YouTube channel that grows and gets a large audience and they get a silver play button. Wait, I did that too. It's almost a cop out to say that people who are like me, who tell other people that they can do something are just biased because we were able to survive when others didn't. The truth is, is that I fought for survival. I, I fought day in and day out. I worked my ass off, worked my ass off to become a self-taught programmer and get that first job. And even after I got that first job, I didn't coast, I didn't take it easy. I kept working hard because I knew that I needed that early experience. I knew that I had to do a good job so that I wouldn't get fired, so that I can gain a year or two of experience, so then I can move into the next job and get a raise and make more money so that I could grow my resume and do this as a career. And I did that. I worked my ass off for YouTube and I made videos when nobody was watching. I kept uploading, talking to a camera with no audience, literally how every YouTuber starts. But I was successful with that too. I applied a lot of the same mindset that I applied to learning how to code and being a self-taught programmer. And I was still able to apply that same grind and mentality and then survive in something else that everyone tells you is super hard to do. So then is it just bullshit? Is it a cop out? Is this something that we tell people so that they can give up or feel that when they don't succeed, it's not their fault? Maybe. 
there's someone sweeping behind me and it's driving me fucking nuts right now. And there's horns and shit going because there's a street right here and I'm in Asia right now. I'm in Asia with my family traveling the world because it's something that I'm trying to do because I want to live my dreams. If I fall flat on my face and fail, then what? If that happens, then I guess I can't survive this one. So then would I look at people who succeed doing this to have survivorship bias? Or will I say that I didn't try hard enough? Because I really do think that anyone can accomplish anything that they put their mind to. Of course, you can't do anything right? Everything has to be within reason. But I do think that there are certain things that anyone can try to do and become mildly or moderately successful in. You don't have to be the best self-taught programmer to be successful. You don't have to be the best YouTuber to have a successful YouTube channel. And even the best YouTuber will tell you that he feels like he has a bit of survivorship bias because that's kind of where I got the idea from this video was based off of like a Mr. Beast tweet but he did the grind. He was uploading with nobody watching his videos too. And he succeeded because he kept applying himself. I guess my big thing is that many of us try to make excuses as to why we're not able to accomplish something when others can. But then those same people that make those excuses don't apply themselves to the level that they need to in order to be successful. And they would rather use a cop out or an excuse than to actually put as much effort as it takes to be successful into something. And that's where I don't like this survivorship bias bullshit. And I call it bullshit because I will again say that I think anyone can do anything within reason. But if you don't apply yourself, you'll never find out. I think someone who's extremely overweight can get in good shape. I think someone who doesn't speak a certain language can learn to speak a new language. I feel that anyone can learn anything and anyone can pretty much do anything that they want to, especially in this digital age where we have the internet and we have AI and we have tools that can make us better. But many of us choose not to. We try to discourage ourselves from trying so that we don't have to do what it takes to actually be one of the survivors. I'm going to continue to have survivorship bias in every single thing that I do. And I'm going to try to continue doing things that everyone says is extremely difficult to do. Because I know that the truth is that most people won't apply themselves to the level that I will, and I'll continue to succeed because most people won't even start, and most people won't even try. And it's crazy that all I do is show up every day and I keep surviving. I don't know if you wanna take that in a metaphorical way, but I do believe that anyone can become a self-taught programmer. But I do think that most people won't because they just won't keep trying and they won't do what it takes to actually do it. And I know that I did what it took to do it. And the landscape always changes. The job market changes, technology changes, competition is always gonna be fierce. There's always gonna be tools that could replace us. There's always gonna be people that they can outsource to take our jobs. There's always gonna be too many people learning this skill. But at the end of the day, I still think that anyone can learn how to code and successfully become a self-taught programmer, but most won't because it's a super hard thing to do. And most people can't survive because they're not willing to fight and do what it takes in order to be one of the survivors that have the bias at the end of the day and tell others that they can do it. When I really think about it and I say this out loud, maybe I have a little bit of survivorship bias, but I mean what I say when I say anyone can do these things, not just learning how to code, but all the other things I mentioned because I've done it. Man, I say it all the time. If I could do it, anyone could do it. That's that. That's all I wanted to say. Do what you will with this video. I hope it helps some people out there that are doubting themselves. And if you're someone who has failed at trying to learn how to code, maybe you need to hear something like this because maybe you failed because you weren't trying hard enough. And if you feel that you did try hard enough, then maybe you need to reevaluate where you were weak and try to improve those areas because maybe you were closer than you realized at succeeding and you just gave up a little too early. All right, with all that said, I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, Make sure you hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.